I previously made a video detailing how to change your Wi-Fi network's passwords using a laptop, but then I realized we live in the 21st century. I acknowledge the fact that many people would prefer to manage their wireless networks using mobile devices like an iPhone or a tablet. So in today's episode from Network From Home, we're going to do just that. I'm going to detail how you can change the passwords of your Wi-Fi networks using an iPhone. To dive right into it, there are just a few things you need before we can move forward with the steps here. The first is obviously you need your iPhone. This is what we'll be using to make the configuration changes to your Wi-Fi networks. The second thing you need to do here is you need to make sure that your iPhone is connected to one of the Wi-Fi networks of the router that you're going to be making changes to. You'll see that we need to log into the router settings and you can't do that unless you're connected to one of its Wi-Fi networks. Okay, so with that, let's get started here. I'll show you what it looks like on my iPhone as I walk through the process. Okay, so the first thing we have to do here is I need to identify the location where I can access my router settings. So there's actually a little shortcut I wanna show you here in terms of determining how to access your router settings. You can access your router settings through its IP address, which we can actually get from our iPhone itself. Okay, so here we are on the home page. The first thing we need to do is select settings here. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, from the settings page, we just select the current Wi-Fi network that we're connected to. So we're going to select here, Wi-Fi. Okay, and this lists the Wi-Fi network that I'm currently connected to which is one of the Wi-Fi networks of the router that we wanna make changes to. So what we can do here to get the IP address of this router is actually if you hit that little information button next to the name of the Wi-Fi network, you can get that information. So let's click that. Okay, now we just need to scroll down here on this page and you'll see router right here it says 192.168.0.1. Okay, so we know that's the location of our router. We now need to put that into an internet browser on our iPhone. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've opened up a browser window here. Now let's enter that IP address of our router. 192.168.0.1. And as you can see here, let me zoom in a bit. But here you're prompted to enter the login credentials for your router settings. This is usually a username and password that you selected when you set up your router for the first time. Some routers will come with a default username and password. You can usually find that information in the user's manual for the router or potentially even on a sticker on the device itself. In my particular case here, with my TP-Link router, the first time I accessed my router settings, I needed to create my own unique password. So that may also be the case for you when you access your router settings. But the next thing to do here is we just wanna log in with our username and password. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we've logged into our router settings successfully, here's what the homepage looks like. It's a little bit zoomed out, so let's provide a little bit of a closer view here so you can see exactly what we're doing. Okay, so the thing that I wanna point out here is the next thing that we wanna access. We want to access our wireless settings, which is this wireless bar here on the left. And just keep in mind that depending upon the make and model of your router, this layout of settings and the actual location of the wireless settings of your router might be slightly different. So just keep that in mind. But in general, there will be a wireless section where you can access the wireless settings of your router. So on my router, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's select the wireless header. 
Okay, and this takes us exactly where we want to go. This is the page with the wireless settings for our router's Wi-Fi networks. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see exactly what we want to do. But here you go, you can see up top here, you have your wireless network name. Below it, you have the password for that wireless network. At this time, you can change all of these settings or as many as you would like. You can change the name of your wireless networks. You can change the password to whatever you want it to be. Another thing to keep in mind here is that because this is a dual band router, this just means that you have separate Wi-Fi networks for each of the frequencies that your router communicates over. So you'll have a 2G, a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network and a five gigahertz wireless network. That's why you have two different settings. And one thing to keep in mind is if you would like, you can set these Wi-Fi networks to have different passwords. But what I would recommend is you just keep the same passwords. That way it's a pretty seamless transition if people need to connect to your 2G or 5G Wi-Fi networks. Once you make the changes that you want, you just go over and select save here, and then those changes will be reflected with your router. All right, that's just about it. So congratulations to you. It's a quick and easy process. As you can see, using your iPhone is not much different from using your laptop, but if you would prefer to use your laptop to make these changes, I will link to the video up above just so you have that resource as well. If this video was useful for you, please hit the like button. That way it can get shared with other people that might find it useful as well. If you like this type of content and you like these little tips and tricks that I provide, feel free to subscribe to the channel as I'll have much more content coming down the line here. As always, thanks for tuning into this episode from Network From Home and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.